Welcome back everybody and let's take you on a little adventure. A few days ago we encountered something. This is an Airbus 321neo is rolling into the gate and business as usual. Aircraft maintenance is on standby. We're right here. We're about to do our walk around and make sure everything's okay. But on this particular day and on this particular aircraft, something was not right. Let me show you. Upon our walk around, the very first thing we usually look at is tires and brakes. And the number three tire. Yep. Man, oh man, that was a lot of damage. We thought, holy cow, how could this happen? But without any kind of hesitation, we figured let's start changing the tire because we don't want to cause any kind of delay. Little did we know that the pilots also had a bit of a discrepancy. When we got up and spoke to the pilots, they said they actually had a hot brake on the number three. Well, as we took the wheel assembly apart, we started discovering more things. Now before I can get into this, let me explain to you how the wheel assembly and the brake assembly is held together. The wheel assembly and the tire is held together by a split rim. It's held on by tie bolts, 18 of them. Along with that, you have fusible plugs for over temperature protection as well as pressure plugs. The split rim is forged aluminum with bearings embedded in there to ride on the axle. The split rim basically hugs the tire. You also have very specific key slots that fit onto the brake assembly, as you can see right there. The brake assembly is made out of carbon, or the carbon discs, I should say. It has pistons that get pushed hydraulically to compress the discs. All right, that being said, as we took the wheel assembly apart, we started noticing pieces of the carbon material from the brake. At this point, we started getting very concerned because this is very unusual. You don't take a wheel apart and start seeing brake components. We jacked the aircraft up and we said let's take a look if see if it rotates and we realized something that the wheel assembly itself was completely jammed it would not even move and then i noticed something that scared me a bit a tie bolt now this is a very rare occurrence and immediately i told everybody to step back and get away a tie bolt had sheared i immediately told everybody to get away and i deflated the tire completely now, why is this a risk factor? Because those tie bolts are literally holding that wheel assembly together. The tire pressure on these aircraft are going up to about 229 PSI, even higher when the brake is hot. But that being said, I am confident within the aircraft manufacturers and the way the aircraft is built, because not only do you have 18 tie bolts holding this whole split rim together, but you also have the main nut that's holding it all together. Matter of fact, we actually found two tie bolts that broke. And again, guys, this is a very rare occasion. When the tie bolts did break, it did start throwing pieces into the brake. And it also caused damage to the brake assembly itself. This was the main reason now that the brake seized. You have to understand, aircraft taking off and landing at extreme speeds, any loose particles, yeah, it's gonna cause damage. But that being said, we took everything apart and inspected everything thoroughly. We wanted to make sure that there's no further damage to the aircraft. It was just isolated to the brake and to the wheel assembly. That's the old brake. As you can see, we took it off and we were inspecting it and just further troubleshooting the damage. It also damaged a piece of the brake fan assembly right there. It's a little bent, but we did manage to get the brand new piece. So as a side note, why am I showing you all this? These are machines. Machines break down, wear and tear. This one was a bit more unusual, but I have to let you know that aircraft have redundancy. Even though a brake can seize or tie bolts can break, that does not mean the aircraft is going to fall out of the sky. That's not the way it works. Even if that rim assembly did split or if that wheel did pop, trust me, that aircraft can still land safely. That's how safe these aircraft are. And this is why you have aircraft maintenance. This is why we are here. This is why we exist, to ensure your safety. We take a look, we inspect, and we fix. After all said and done, we got a brand new wheel assembly and got a brand new brake assembly and all the components needed. And here we go. Let's put it all back together. Here's a new brake assembly. That's what it should look like. The brake assembly is held down by three nuts right there. As I said again, it's made out of carbon. 
and you see the pistons right there. And this is yours truly, torquing the brake down. All the components have torque values, so we use a calibrated torque wrench to install all this. Funny enough, that day it started raining right when the airplane came in, and as usual, right when you stop working, that's when the rain stops. Yeah, I got nice and wet. But it was an interesting day, no complaints here. Aircraft maintenance is a very fascinating job. It always keeps you on your toes. You're always learning something new. After 24 years of fixing aircraft, I'm still at amazement on how much technology there's there. Whether your tasks are laborious like this or some tasks are meant to stimulate your mind and troubleshoot. Deducing a problem like this from going from a simple tire change to a brake change to understanding what actually went wrong. As the wheel assembly and the brake assembly got reinstalled, hydraulic lines installed, and right down there is the brake temperature sensor, we go on to finishing up the job task. Remember that broken component? There you go. We got a brand new one right here. There's your before and after. <laughs> yeah, loose spinning hardware can cause a lot of damage, but thankfully we had the new components. After everything installed, and here's your brake fan right here, which is an Airbus feature. Boeing don't have brake fans. I'll re-safety wire this, put this all back together. Up next we have the shrouds, uh, which is the shroud that covers the tie bolts as well as a screen that covers that brake fan right there. Once again, uh, we were very pleased to find out that it was just a tie bolt that actually caused this issue because at first we assumed it was the brake assembly or the brake manifold which was up top right there with no braking. But yeah, overall, a simple tie bolt can cause that issue. Finishing up right here and showing you some of the components right here. But yeah, oh yeah, don't judge me on my no gloves. I went through about six pairs. I can't take it anymore. I needed to use my hands. One thing we did decide upon is that we do need to take this aircraft on a maintenance taxi, which you will see later on down in this video. We wanted to confirm to make sure that there is no discrepancies there is no issues so yeah we have that prerogative once installed give the wheel nice spin making sure that it's free and clear and after that we will lower the aircraft off the jacks and then we will perform a operational check there's a few of them one of which will be on the brake fan itself and one on the brake system itself my partner that's upstairs is going to turn on a brake fan and you're going to hear it. It's going to be very loud. Check it out. After which we will test the braking system. The normal braking system and alternate. This is what the piston sounds like. Here we go, all the damaged components removed. Give the airplane a little bit of love because we want to send it out with love. But the most fun part is let's go to taxi the airplane. Me and my partner set it up. Our ramp crew pushed us out. We went through our checklists. I do apologize that you don't get to see the outside. The glare was very strong. But yeah, that's me and my partner. We took the aircraft on a check ride, taxied it all out, and everything checked out as we want. And that's all in a day's work. We were very happy. We were very pleased. That's what aircraft maintenance is all about. Dispatching you safely. Take care.